buzz of bees is getting quieter. They are, according to some scientists, the single most important insect to humans, but their populations are drastically declining and we may be to blame. Only on News 5, James Girardi speaks with an expert who's working to figure out how to reverse all the damage. Put the hood on. In a large field in Worcester, Ohio, Ohio State entomology professor Reed Johnson is working to find out why the bees have gone silent. It's good to see they made it. I was worried about this colony. For 20 years, he's worked with these insects. In that time, though, he's never seen them in this much despair. One major reason, neonicotinoids, a type of insecticide widely available and widely used on crops and landscaping in every corner of this country. In crops where they're applied when bees are present or in landscape applications in, in cities where they're applied when bees are present, the bees are likely to die from that exposure. Bees are critical to our food supply, pollinating an estimated one in every three bites of food we eat. A lot of the crops that are really healthy for us, um, here in Ohio, cucumbers are totally dependent on bees for pollination, pumpkins, watermelons, apples, all that good stuff that we get uh, that's healthy for you uh, depends on insect pollination. Farmers are scrambling purchasing honey beehives to install in their crops to keep their fruits and vegetables alive. So while farmers are using colonies like these for honeybee pollination, the overall bee population continues to decline. Over the last five years, it's estimated the bee population has declined by more than 30 percent. The problem is there are more people and more crops out there and the number of bees has not been expanding proportional to the amount of area that needs to be pollinated. We all play a part in their survival. Johnson says reducing the use of pesticides, allowing flowering weeds like dandelions to grow freely, and planting more flowers can all help in maintaining the bee population. Our health will suffer as the pollinator's health suffers. For News 5, I'm James Girardi. Good stuff. Scientists say a new wave of insecticides will hit the market in a couple of years that target bugs, but they're not harmful to bees.